hello everybody. My name is Julie, Juju Sparkle Bean, and I wanted to go ahead and share with you a color transformation with my Inkari alpaca. I am going to color my alpaca with this Clairol Color Crave semi-permanent color in teal. And so this is what I'm going to use. I feel like this alpaca is the closest to this color up here right here that uh, kind of like bleached blonde color so and the color that it's supposed to come out afterwards is going to be this uh, beautiful teal color so um, I'm really hoping that this turns out really well if not my poor alpaca will be uh, <laughs> discolored in some way but it'll be fun it'll be a neat little art project for me and what do you think Coco Coco uh, my kitty she was just kind of here just a second ago she likes the idea of it so we're gonna go at it we're gonna go have a go at it and see how this turns out stay tuned okay so what I've done to protect the face of my alpaca is I've used uh, tape to go ahead and tape uh, the areas where I don't want the dye to uh, get on. So as you can see, I methodically and carefully taped different sections of my alpaca's face with uh, this clear tape. And sorry about my nails. Uh, please forgive me, my, I haven't had a chance to get my nails done yet. But as you can see, I've methodically covered uh, the area over here over the eyes. Also, I've covered the ears very methodically as well. As you can see, the back too. Um, there, you know, you want to make sure you get down right down through here. That way, you don't get the dye on any of the portion that you don't want to have that color on. So, with that in mind, I think I am ready. I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm going to go ahead and start my process of coloring my alpaca. So, before I begin, it's always smart to go ahead and lay down some uh, protective covering on your work area. And that's what I did here. I'm going to plan on trying to completely cover my alpaca, the alpaca fur with the hair coloring. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to saturate the fibers of the alpaca wool here and maybe the certain parts will come out maybe darker, darker teal and maybe lighter teal on this area but we will find out. So let's go ahead and get gloved up and ready to go. guys so after I washed off the color I just wanted to go ahead and show you uh, what my alpaca looks like so just to give you an idea uh, I washed the color off and as you can see um, the alpaca's fur looks like this so I tried my very best to not get any color on my alpaca's face but I think as you could see right there on the chin, I uh, we did get on uh, part of its chin and a little bit on the side here. But I think once I were I'm able to dry the alpaca for uh, wool, um, I think it won't really matter because this part will just kind of fluff over. And I think I kind of like the little blue part because it looks like it it has a little bit of a goatee. <laughs> kind of funny. But I'm hoping that the alpaca fur will look nice after I dry it. And so just so, can, can you see that? I did get some of the um, dye on the body part of the alpaca. And that 
was kind of tough. I couldn't tape everything, but it doesn't bother me, honestly. So I'm just kind of giving you an idea to see what you can, what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to dry my alpaca with my hair dryer. I did pat it down like this with some paper towels. So we'll see, we'll see how it turns out. All right, guys. So this is the finished product. I went ahead and I dried my alpaca. I'm gonna tell you, it's uh, you have to make sure you have time to do this. It doesn't, it's not that fast of a thing to do to dye your alpaca. Um, the wool takes time to dry, and what helps a lot too is I have a Dyson hair dryer, and it took some time to really dry the wool, the alpaca wool or fur, and the fibers when they are when they are have have been wet as you can see they uh, they get kind of kinky like they start to kind of have this nice little wave thing going on so you know what you'll want to do is make sure to brush the wool of your alpaca uh, as you're drying it so that way um, you can detangle that that wool and try to retain that nice fluffy shape that your alpaca was before you went ahead and did the process of coloring it, washing off the color, and then drying it. It just restores that nice fluffy look that you want. But this is the finished product, and I just love how it turned out. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel, and until then, I'll see you on my channel. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.